guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel, and Merry Christmas, everybody! If you're watching this the day it goes up, it is going up on December 25th, 2018 at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so if it is still Christmas for you, or you're watching this on Christmas Day, Merry Christmas! If not, sorry! Hi from the future, the past, oh, happy whatever day it is you are watching this, but the day this is going up is Christmas, and I'm so excited because we are making a holiday or a Christmas-themed apartment, and I know, like, in other countries, holiday doesn't necessarily mean, like, Christmas. It's, like, a different thing. Anyway, <laughs> I didn't decorate this like too over the top. I really want it to be toned down colors. And as you can see right now, it's like really dark brown, but we do end up making this apartment really light, airy browns and use a lot of the new decorations we got with the holiday pack update that we got last week. And I love it. It's very <laughs> DIY. We're adding these beautiful mason jar trees in the kitchen. And we do end up actually changing the tile in the kitchen to the same tile, but like the black and white version because I thought it worked better with what most of the decorations in the house were. The pop of blue here just didn't make a whole lot of sense, even though it is very pretty. I just love these tiles in general. So I was happy to go ahead and use them. But we spend forever in the kitchen, but this is the color we end up changing everything to. I just think it felt more like the vibe I was thinking of because I really wanted to do like all of the new decorations well not all of them but like a good amount of the new decorations and I just kind of had a thought in my head of what it would look like like how I wanted to decorate everything and I thought the lighter woods made more sense so we did that and we just add a ton of decorations and I'm horrible I can never remember where things live so like I scroll forever and sometimes I just have to stop recording because I'm like I can't find an item and I think we're about to get to one of those things that I just can't find but it doesn't look like I cut it out uh, I was actually looking for those little jars that have the different colored spices in them. There's like, it's one jar, but you can change the color. It's like red, yellow, green, and orange, I think. But I can never find them when I'm looking for them. I find them when I don't need them. <laughs> but when I'm looking for them, I can't find them. I also loved adding this piece of garland between the kitchen and the living room. There's no dining space in this uh, apartment, but I thought that was fine. You can just eat at the couch. I feel like that makes sense in a lot of smaller apartments that there's not like a full on dining space, but I did add a computer nook, but you could totally get rid of that and add a dining space if that's more important to you. But I think it's more important for your Sims to have a computer because there's so many different things they can do on them. But this is the rug we ended up using in the living space. And I think it's so cute. I love it so much. Uh, so we're just making this little computer nook over here which I quite liked. And we used the one of the bricks we got with an update a while back that used to be like misnamed. I think it was like Brick Gen 01 or something like that. But it's finally got a name and I'm using it because I really like this brick. I think it's very, very nice. It's very simple. I think that's why I like it. I really like simple things and I want more simple things in the game. Like why don't we have a plain white and plain black modern door? I just, that that's something I would like to have in the game, but we don't have. I also wish these shelves came in a white swatch. Like, they don't come in white. They just, they'll, they come in beige. Um, but <laughs> luckily, I was using that color scheme anyway. I also got to use this new, like, fox, is faux the right word? No, because that would be for fur. I don't know. It's a fake fireplace. And I really, really liked how that looked in here. I when we got that, I was like, I need to build a Christmas apartment immediately because I feel like I've known a lot of people that have lived in apartments for Christmas and they wanted to hang up their stockings, so they had a fake fireplace for that. Ooh, we need some stocking clutter items because we have that one fireplace that comes with stockings on it and it's just like a little too over the top and I don't want it. At least I think it comes with stockings on it. Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> it has garland on it and it has like a runner on the top of like on the mantle. I don't know if that has stockings on it, but we need stocking clutter. That's what I, I mean, next year in the holiday update, I hope we get more stuff for other holidays, like more Hanukkah stuff, because we are severely sla uh, lacking in that department. I personally don't know a ton about Hanukkah, but I know there's got to be tons of simmers that feel incredibly underrepresented by that. And I think that would be a really cool thing to add. But I would also, <laughs> as I was just talking about, though I don't remember what I was just talking about, really like whatever I just said I would want in the, oh, stockings. Yeah, stocking clutter. Thank you. <laughs> I just corrected myself and thanked myself. Welcome to my life where I forget things and then I remind myself and I thank myself at alone in my apartment talking to myself. Anyway, happy Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. I love how this living room came out. This rug, I think, just kind of built the way uh for like what I wanted to do with this room I feel like I put that down and it really helped me 
bring the room and the apartment together. It kind of had the vibe I was going for. And that's actually something I want to do more of because when I was building a lot this week, I kept grabbing items and finding swatches on them that I'm like, I have never used this in my life and I do not really like it, but I bet I could build something around it. So I think starting in 2019, I'm going to do some more room builds uh, because there's some rugs, there's some tables, there's some swatches of items I use, but there's like weird swatches of them. And I'm like, I've never built anything with this swatch or maybe this rug or whatever. And I think it'd be cool to just kind of build a room. And the first thing I do is place that item down and then I have to incorporate it into the room, like build around whatever that item is. So I think I'm going to do that next year, uh, which is, you know, like a week from now. So we'll see if that happens. I don't know when it's going to happen because I do have some stuff planned out already, but hopefully I will get to do that because I think that sounds really fun. Uh, also, I added that beautiful new light in this room that we got with the update as well. I think it's so cool and it has one of the funniest descriptions because it's like, why wouldn't you put like <laughs> dried, um, like dried plants on top of an ignition source? Like, you know, let's not start fires on Christmas. And I just thought it was really goofy. And that table is one of the ones that I was talking about a moment ago, like that pink swatch. I've never used that, but there's definitely a bunch of rugs that I've been noticing lately. I also added everything you need in this house for a dog. I didn't think I'd have room for kitty litter, so I decided it would be for a dog. And um, let me just say, when I was taking screenshots in this house, I just grabbed somebody that wasn't living in a house at the moment, which, uh, so the person that moved in was Dirk Dreamer. And I wanted it to be snowing outside for the screenshots so you can see through the window that it was snowing. And I had the weather machine here and he failed and got shocked six times before it was snowing. So th that was good. Uh, but this is the bedroom. I kept the whole house very like light and airy with those beautiful um, light beige tones and whites. And I thought this bedroom was just really, really nice. I love these bedside tables from Parenthood. They really matched the color scheme. We also had the tree that matched over on the bedside table. I think it's so cute. I've never used it in that white and gold swatch. And then the mirror that we got from Jungle Adventure, that really tall one that I love so much. I really want some more like floor to ceiling length, not floor to ceiling, but like stand up full length mirrors that lean against the wall like that. Cause that is so pretty. I feel like so many people have those and they look so nice in so many different styles of houses and apartments. So I would definitely like more of those. And we're adding those jars again up on this shelf and this uh, basket from Jungle Adventure with a plant inside of it. Cause I thought that would look cute as well. And of course this painting that I add in way too many builds <laughs> because I like it so much. And then this dresser over here, cause there's not a whole lot of space here and just a plant on, I think, and a beautiful rug. And I think, yeah, I was thinking about adding those mirrors, but then I was like, but the Jungle Adventure one is literally perfect. So I added that instead and another painting. And then I of course had to <laughs> in the walkway, I was like, oh, this is the entrance. We need to put a cork board and we need to have this calendar with a dog on it because there's a dog owner here. I also had placed down the tree in this uh, apartment, the one that you can decorate yourself. So that's why it doesn't look decorated while I'm building, but I do have Dark Dreamer go in and decorate it. And I think it looks pretty in the end. That will be in the screenshot so you guys can see that. And then if you guys download this house, you will be able to, or this apartment, you will be able to, you know, decorate it to your own desires or however you want to decorate it. And I don't think I already said this, but it will be available on The Sims 4 Gallery if you search Griffey or the hashtag Miss Griffey. This apartment is chick chic street chic street yeah uh it's the apartment that penny bazazz lives in i just really like the size of this apartment so it's really fun for me to renovate so you should be able to just grab it off my gallery and place it in the, that apartment if you would like to go ahead and use it but thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up you can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and if you click that little bell it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified every single time i upload a video thank you guys so much for watching have a merry christmas and i will see you guys next time bye everybody Whoa, oh, oh. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you are the good times with you baby this 